guys, it's your time for the next episode of El Lucidity SMP. Uh, welcome back. I'm happy to be back on the server. Uh, before... Before we get going, I want to show you guys what I've been up to. First of all... Hey! Nobody asked you. Hey! Hey! Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, before we get started, um, I've been moving all of my stuff downstairs. I kind of showed that a little bit in that episode 5.5. Look at this jerk-off! He killed my sheep! And I need my sheep! For today's episode! I'm not happy! I'm not happy! Uh, so, between cuts, I will be going and getting more sheep! Yay! But that's okay, not that big of a deal. I've got wheat. Uh, so I can do that. Um, but uh, yeah, before we do that, I want to show you guys what I've been up to. The village is getting very close uh, to being done. I don't need this. I'll just walk around. It's very close to being done. I only have a couple more houses left, uh, and then we're going to call it done. Um, this obviously I put the most work into because this is where my home is. Um, and then I've got these other little houses that I've put some work into, but not quite as much. Um, this. This one right here is probably my least favorite so far. It's not completely done. I got to do a couple more windows. Um, I like, I really like how this one turned out, even though it's a little weird. Like it's a little weird over here. Um, why am I jumping so much? Uh, like the roof, it's kind of hard to see from this angle. Hold on. Jump into Jehoshaphat. The roof is a little weird how it kind of peeks up right there. I was, I was going for a look. Uh, and it kind of accomplished it, and it kind of didn't accomplish it. It just looks really weird from this spot. From this, so don't look at it from here. Look at it from other spots. Like right here, it looks good. <laughs> um, and then I have uh, this house. I'm pr particularly fond of this one. Uh, and then this one. Uh, and then I got two more due. Uh, and then this this little section will be done. Uh, and then I'm going to add more of these like lantern thingies. Um, and then I went inside here. Whoop, whoop. I went inside here. And I made a little catacombs, which again I showed off a little bit in the stream 5.5 So All my farms are now down here. Uh, cacti, a sugar cane. I have not moved my bamboo down here yet. Um, and I haven't finished building this down here either. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get the blocks for it. And then you got your wheat. And I don't know why I bothered with beetroot, but I did anyway. And your pumpkins and your melons. Uh, and then, whoa, as you go down this way... My bamboo is... I was actually going to take a right turn here, and then the bamboo was going to be uh, in this kind of general area. I got my little enchanting room here. Um, with my little dis disenchant uh, book thingy. Uh, which, whatever. Um, I have noticed that stuff can spawn down here. Oh, and my storage. This is going to get walled up. Uh, this wall is going to come out to here. Uh, and then, and then this will be open, and then this wall is going to come out to here, and, and whatnot, and so on and so forth. And I'm kind of break, limit breaking it off for certain things. Like, this is all my plants and foods. These are all my blocks. Um, my somewhat valuable stuff over here, redstone and whatnot. And then over here, it's going to be like mob drops and, and miscellaneous stuff like that. And I think that will be enough. But the way I've designed this, it's designed to be able to move back. Now, if you didn't watch episode 5.5, I made a junk chest. Where I just throw stuff down here, and it works its way down here, and you can see a whole bunch of crap uh, down here. Stuff, I, because I, if you recall, I made a rule for myself that I can't eat the carrots, eat the carrots, so that I can talk. Hurry up and eat, so I can talk. I can't throw away anything. I must keep everything. Um, I have eased up a little bit because, for example, I chop it down the tree. I don't got time to sit there and wait for the leaves to dispawn. I don't have time for that. So, if a sapling falls or a stick falls and I don't get to it, I don't care anymore. Uh, actually, I wanted to make him my, my dog, my pet. I want to make... Well, actually, it's going to be a her. In honor of my late dog. That has passed away, unfortunately. What is... I need, I need a flower. I need a poppy, because I need a red eye, and I need bone meal. Ooh, I don't know if I have enough bones to do this. Oh, I absolutely do. I might have to make that die first. Yes, I do. Why? Why, why do that to me, game? 
It's okay. Although, to be fair, she always had a purple collar on. How do you make purple? Red and blue? I could do that. Right? Now that I just used my only poppy. I can still do that. Let's do that. Because that's what that's what she actually was. This is going to be a little tribute to Tessa. Uh, who has passed away. Cancer took her life. Unfortunately, very sad. I don't really want to talk about it. A whole lot. Uh, but played a very, pretty big role in my life for a very long time. And so it was really sad. Really sad. But it is. It is what it is, unfortunately. That's life. Nothing lasts forever, unfortunately. However, we're gonna make use of this sheepy that killed- or the sheepy. This wolf that killed my sheep. I meant to grab a name tag. There you go. I do have one name tag. Come with me, and you'll be. And I am not gonna let this dog follow me around. This dog is gonna sit down in here somewhere forever. Because I don't want to lose her. How about by the bed? Faithful as always. Come on, over here. There you go, you can sit on the bed. You get a name tag. A little tribute to Tessa. I think I have a name tag. If not, I'll have to go get one. I do. Do I have an anvil? I think I have an anvil in the, in the chanting room, maybe. I should. I don't think I do. I gotta make an anvil. That's okay. I can make an anvil. No problemo. Well, I got plenty. No problem. I got plenty. I gotta say, I love. I love having the recipe book there. It's sort of like the fast craft um, mod. Which I also enjoy immensely. Alright, Tessa. This is for you, baby. Here you go. No, stay sitting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and find some sheep. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. Can I sleep? No, not nighttime. It looks like nighttime. It's nighttime, you jerk. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little nappy nap. I'm gonna gather some sheep. I'm going to dye them light brown and dark brown. Uh, and you will see why soon. Uh, and then I will see you guys elsewhere and do what we actually came here to do. Be early. Is that a sheep? No. <laughs> it really looked like a sheep. It's not. Be right back. Okay, here we are at the shopping district. Took me a minute to find because our map has not been working. Um, What's this? Didn't know those hurt you. Oh, it's just, just uh, one of those, uh... I'll take it. I can't take it. <laughs> I can totally take it. What is it? I'm breaking three. Did I just dupe it? No. No, I have an elytra on. What's this? This is the shopping district. I have not been here yet. It's dark. I mean, I have been here, but I haven't been here recently. Totem of Undying. Oh my gosh! How did he get so many of these? I'm gonna need to buy some of those. Oh man, I need to go shopping. Apparently he hasn't had any sales. Either that or he keeps his store stocked. It's very stocked. Um, there's some pretty cool builds over here. Uh, I like that look. Yeah. What's this? A barrel. even know that was a thing. Cool. Um, of course you can see the rocket. That's definitely not a lighthouse off in the distance. I should have brought a bed. Probably would have been a good idea. But that's okay. And then this whole area, I don't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure... I don't know who built this. <laughs> I can't give credit. But y'all should put a sign on the stuff that you do. I want to say that Wandel and Josh built this, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, but it's really cool, and he actually has a decent shop here. What is this block? I need to learn 1.15. Like, these helmets, some of them are not half bad. Like, this is a Mending Protection 3. I'm assuming that he just tried to make a bunch of stuff, and 
he didn't get what he wanted, and so he's just selling the, the leftovers, I'm assuming. I, I don't know. But, I mean, it's a fair price. Two diamonds? That's less diamonds than it costs for a helmet, you know? And then the levels, so, I mean, it's really fair prices. Uh, he, Wandle did... Wandle did actually give me all of the, this. I had the... I had these, but he gave me a chest, and he gave me leggings, and he gave me a helmet. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I don't even have an ender chest, so that'll be empty. But it's a really cool build. Do I see emerald blocks? Dude. Is that another armor stand? Yeah, these are armor stands. <laughs> One diamond per half stack. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy emeralds, that's for sure. I'll take this book, though. Just kidding, I won't take the book. Looting th three. Two diamonds each. Yeah, see, I could easily get these books um, if I made a fishing farm. But, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna let the other guys do all that stuff. That's not what I'm here for. Anyway, I picked a spot for my shop. And it's gonna be right here. At least, I'm assuming that these are plots. I don't actually know. Uh, are those actual mobs? Are they gonna come bother me? Can he see me? I don't think so. That's the wool farm over there. The wool shop over there. I think I think these are plots. I, I therefore I hope I am not encroaching on somebody's space. But if I am, I almost ate a rocket. That wouldn't have tasted very good. If I am, I'll just move it. So what are we building? Oh my gosh! I lost my image that I was going to copy uh, over on this computer over here. Uh, here it is. Uh, well, you can't see it, but. Uh, I'm building a boot, and before I, I probably don't have enough wool, in which case, I'll just go home. I, mean, I don't live very far away. Uh, I probably don't have enough wool to do this, um, but we're gonna try. Uh, I definitely forgot my black wool. The whole base is gonna be made out of black wool, and I forgot it. Okay, I'm gonna go home, I fly home. I did gather black wool, but for some reason I put it in a chest, so uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, skeleton's still there, but the zombie has either burned up or despawned. Either way, I don't know. Uh, I'm breaking a torch. Okay, I'm building a boot. And no, not 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 about in Canadian. I'm building a boot. Probably don't have enough wool. I'm probably going to have to to be right back again uh, to get more wool. But that's okay. Uh, we'll we'll make it work. We will make it work. And then the heel. Whoops. Hey, use the stuff that you have handy. Like I said, fortunately I'm not far away. Um, that's not right either. I need to go one, one more, right? No. Wait, what? Why does this not look right? It is right. You silly. That's too small. I need to, I need to make it bigger than that. Um, I don't want to say exactly what my shop is going to be, um, but I think you could probably figure it out. Um, just what, like, the whole theme that I've been going with? Um, well, the boot technically is bigger. I mean, the heel, I should say, is technically bigger than the whole boot. No, 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 no. Eh! Right here? No, right here. <laughs> it looks like something else that I don't want to say. Uh, the door is going to be right here. Eh. Okay. Uh, and I know I said... Um, I said... What did I say? I said light brown wool. There's no such thing as light brown wool. Um, so that was a mis... mis I was misspeaking. Uh, so don't, don't, don't quote me. <laughs> don't quote me on that. Okay. Now we're gonna go up one more, and then we're gonna cut, start cutting in. And I definitely do not have enough, enough of this. Do I have another block I can use? Uh, let's use the gray. Gray is gonna be the shoelaces. I had, you know, everybody's making um, farms and stuff and things, and um, and they're making these great shops out of the stuff that they're they're putting in these farms uh, and I decided that I should have brought my scaffolding with me. Here, 
Let's just dig a hole. We'll do the old school Minecraft sapling. Sapling? Scaffolding. Oh my gosh, I'm down to nine already. It's good planning. It's okay. It's okay. I knew this was going to be a little choppy. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish building uh, the base. Whoa, I definitely have my elytra on. Uh, I'm going to finish building the base of this. Hold on, which direction are we here? We need to go... This way is back home. Um, I'm going to finish building the basic structure, uh, and then uh, I am going to come back, uh, and then we're going to do the shoelaces on camera, because I think the shoelaces are going to be the most difficult part. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to head home, shear some more sheep, uh, painful as it is, and then I will be right back. Oh, this stinks. This is so tiresome. <laughs> There's not enough grass. <laughs> Sit still. Oh, there we go. And then the babies. There's my black. I actually don't have any. Don't need any more black. I don't have any brown wool on me though. Ugh. Killed a squid on the way. Over. Oh, come on. Eat the grass. Eat the grass. Eat the grass. I need your wool! I only have a little bit so far. Ugh, I'll see you guys back at the boot. <laughs> There's all these awesome, beautiful builds, and then you've got an old boot. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. I want to hear opinions on this thing, um, because I think it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, Turns out, it's very difficult to make a boot in Minecraft. I think that's about as good as it's gonna be. Uh, I think that's about as good. Whoops. Just had enough. Oop, there we go. Uh, actually, the ground needs to be a different color. Hmm. Do I have enough of the gray? I don't think so. But that's okay. I can always get more later. Maybe. Maybe. What's this? That's three by about... No. There's no way I have enough. Um, oh, this shovel's gonna break. Okay. Put up some twitches. I actually got lost along the way. Um, and then my elytra almost broke. It got down to, like, nothing. Uh, so I had to walk around for a little while. But I found my way to spawn, and I hung out uh, at the um, zombie spawn a little bit, and I was able to fix it back up. You know, like the sole of a shoe, of a boot. I was thinking of... I had another idea um, to make this even more authentic, and I think I'm gonna do it. Whoops. I want to dig a little bit of a hole, like this is, so like, so like the boot is kind of like, like a part of the boot is like over a hole, you know? And then I was going to put like a piece of gum on the bottom of the shoe, on the bottom of the boot. I thought that would be a nice touch. I don't have enough gray wool to finish this. Okay, I'll put down white stained glass in the intro. There. See? So. This is going to be my shop, and I'm going to sell... Well, I want I want to see if anybody feels like commenting. I want to see guesses uh, for what I'm going to sell uh, in the comment section below. Uh, just, just out of curiosity, if you guys can figure it out. The next episode uh, is going to be an advertisement for this, for this shop. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I think we're going to make a lot of money. Um, yeah, yeah. Probably not. No. Typically, on servers like this, uh, there's really not a whole lot. Like, the shop's almost like a gimmick kind of a thing. Um, most people don't spend a whole lot of time uh, investing in shops. Oh, what's this over here? I didn't see this. Um, like, I, I'm gonna buy some totems if I'm dying. I mean, screw going to get them. What's this? An anvil shop? There's no sign. What is this? Iron ingot. Iron block. Iron block. Three diamonds per stack of iron blocks. One diamond per three stacks. Oh, that's the same thing. 
But we really only need to... Oh, I see. One diamond per three stacks. Three diamonds per stack. How much? I mean, that's like nine stacks, right? Eight stacks? I don't know. Something like that, right? Is that how that works? No. That's, that's really bad math. That's really bad math. Which, which, is, which is more cost efficient? 74 divided by... 64 divided by 9. So that's seven stacks for three diamonds. Or... And three diamonds over here would give you nine stacks. So it really makes no sense to ever buy a block of iron stack. You should buy them here. You should buy three stacks three times. Uh, and then you would get more. And then just turn them into blocks. I think you need to work on your uh, costs there, whoever made this shop. Everybody, y'all need to put up signs for what your shop is. I think I know who this is, but I'm not sure. 100%. Whoa! 100% certain. Because I remember them asking uh, what what shop prices should be in, 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 in the chat. What's this? Oh! Oh! That was a little terrifying. Is this a slime chunk? Whoops. Don't mind if I do. That was a terrible idea. How do I get out of here? There's an abandoned mine shaft down here. With a chest. Beetroot seeds. Alright. How do you get out of here? There's no way out. <laughs> There's just a hole. I can't fly up. You can't fly straight up, can you? I don't think so. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh, whoa. I didn't know you could do that. Hmm. Cool. Okay, my friends, again, once again, I thought that was the thing. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed me making a very boring looking boot. I think I'm going to throw a window on it. Um, almost like uh, like it's a house. Uh, I'm going to throw some buttons on it as well. Uh, I forgot to bring them with me. Um, but like, you know how shoelaces go into like those like little things. Uh, I'm going to do them down, down the edges here. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to throw some chests in here with some signs on what they're selling. And then, of course, I'm going to put my name on it. Uh, the, the Victor, Zixter's shop. The boot. The old boot. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And as always, take it easy.